Well, I'm really excited uh, to go into this prophetic word of the month of May. Someone say May. This is going to be awesome. Okay, prophetic word for the month of May. Uh, so I do want to want you to give some hearts, likes, and share, and uh, just uh, you know, share it on your wall. Tag some people who need to hear this prophetic word of the month. Uh, I'm going to just go straight right into it. Of course, every month, uh, you know, the Lord uh, uh, has led our ministry to declare. Uh, and to, in a sense, predict, prophesy into certain things to happen in every single month. Who knows that the times and seasons belong to God? So since the times and seasons belong to God, uh, we are able to name and to declare it and to expect certain things to happen. And, uh, <clears throat> of course, as a man and woman of God declares it, if a prophet says it in the name of the Lord, then watch it happen. Amen? And who knows that? Prophecy is still for today. Amen. Prophecy is still alive. Prophecy is real. Uh, God is a God of prophecy. God is a God of of uh, who speaks. So he's speaking loud and clear today, no matter what. Amen. So uh, today I'm going to go about, uh, talk about a prophetic word of the month. Uh, for the month of May, I'm super excited. In fact, I want to declare over you. That in this month of May, the tide is turning. Things are shifting in your favor. In this month of May, I know many of you in the month of April, it seems like uh, went through hell and back. Uh, in fact, even for me right now, <clears throat> I'm getting over this uh, little uh, sickness or whatnot. <laughs> but uh, I believe many prophets and people have gone through some hellacious warfare and delay. In the month of April. But in the month of May, the tide is turning. Things are going to turn and shift towards your favor. If you believe it, say amen. I'm telling you, I feel so expectant about the month of May. It's going to be bewildering. It's going to be bananas. It's going to be bonkers. It's going to be awesome. So it's an amen. All right? So uh, in the month of May... Of course, in the Hebrew calendar, uh, the month of May right now is sandwiched between two Hebrew months, okay? The two Hebrew months right now. And right now, we're in the Hebrew month of ER. Someone say ER. Hello, Patrice Leons. I know uh, you love the Hebrew calendar. So we are right now in the Hebrew month of ER. Someone say ER. And uh, so May is sandwiched with two months. ER and Sivan. Someone say Sivan, okay? ER and Sivan. Does anybody like Sivan's chicken? All right. So May is has consists of two months of ER and Sivan. And oh, I'm telling you, I love this <clears throat> month of ER because of the prophetic meaning that's within it. Um, and right now we're currently in the month of ER. And uh, we'll soon enter into Sivan. But pretty much after Passover, which of course happened in April, you have seven weeks of counting. Some say counting. So we're actually in a time of counting of the omers. Okay, counting of the weeks or counting of the barley. Some say counting. Who knows that God is an accountant and he likes to keep you accountable, and he likes to take account of what's being said, done, and not said, and not done. So, we are in a season of seven weeks, 49 days, remember, I talked about the 49ers before, 49 days of the counting of the Omer. So, we're literally in a season from Passover to Pentecost, Shavuot, 49 days, 7 weeks of the counting of the Omer. Now, let me tell you why this is so important. Because God is searching. He is looking at our hearts. He's looking at our soul. He's looking at the little things we're doing and we're not doing. And the counting of the Omer is uh, 49 days of counting for you to receive the great harvest. Okay. God is counting, God is taking account of 
Sharabarabo. And there is a counting of the barley so that on the time of Shavuot Pentecost, you will receive your due harvest. I feel the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> so in this time, there's introspection, there's uh, worship, there's uh, purification, there's searching of the heart. Some say, Jesus, search my heart, O oh Lord. Some say, Jesus, create in me a clean heart, O oh God. So that's what's happening right now. Unto Pentecost. Okay, are you hearing me? So it's so important because God has given us an opportunity to count, to take account of, and to be accountable to what we're doing and what He wants us to do. Amen. <coughs> but the month of ER, right now, we're actually in the Hebrew month of ER, and soon we're going to switch to Sivan. So we'll say Sivan, okay? Like I said, Sivan's chicken, right? But we're in the Hebrew month of ER, and I love this month because uh, ER, which is spelled, and it says I-Y-A-R, ER is the acronym of this verse. Come on, somebody. I-Y-A-R is the acronym. Some say acronym. <clears throat> is the acronym of I am the Lord that healeth thee. So May is a month of healing. May is a month where God is healing your hearts and your wounds and He's healing your soul from any trauma. Let's go to the Word of God here. Exodus 15. This is our key. This is our key uh, passage, scripture, for this broadcast and for this prophetic word of the month of May. Shara broska, Exodus 15, verse 22, over to 27. This is so good. Are you with me today? Are you blessed? Shoo! Shara bara bara bara. God's going to heal your finances. God's going to heal your heart, your mind, your body. God's going to heal your family. Amen. So let's go over to the Word of God. <clears throat> Exodus 15. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Look at that. Get out. <clears throat> Exodus 15, verse 22. That Moses made Israel set out from the Red Sea. <clears throat> And they went into the wilderness of Shur. They went three days into the wilderness and found no water. Some say found no water. Then they came to Marah. They cannot drink the water of Marah because it was bitter. Therefore, it was named Marah. Marah in Hebrew means bitter. And the people grumbled against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried to the Lord. And the Lord showed him a log. Someone say log. <clears throat> the Lord showed him a big piece of wood. And Moses threw that wood, that log, into the water. And the water became sweet. Come on, somebody. The water became sweet. There the Lord made for them a statute and a rule. And there he tested them. Have you been going through some testing? He tested them, saying, If you diligently listen to the voice of the Lord your God, and do that which is right in His eyes, and if you give ear to His commandments, and keep all His statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you that I put on the Egyptians. For I am the Lord your God, your healer. 27. Then they came to Elam, where there were 12 springs of water. Are you ready for springs of water to gush out? And 70 palm trees. And they encamped there by the water. Isn't this incredible? God is saying, if you listen to the voice of God, and if you do what's right, and if you give ear to my commandments and keep my statutes, 
I will put none of the diseases I put on the Egyptians upon you. Come on, somebody. For I am the Lord your God, your healer. God is saying, if you love me, if you listen to me, if you obey me, then I will become the God of healing over your life. Just as Moses drew the log into the water of bitterness, sweetness began to erupt. Are you ready for your bitter to turn into sweet? Are you ready for the undrinkable waters to be cleansed and purified and sanctified so that you may become a wellspring of life? Are you ready? Come on, somebody. Are you ready for God to make a distinction in your life? Where he says, the diseases I put on the Egyptians will not be on you. As long as you obey me, you love me, you follow me, there will be a distinction, says God. I am the Lord your God, your healer, ER. This is a month where God is releasing the cross, releasing solutions, releasing the power of Jesus. He is turning your bitter into sweet, your mourning into dancing, your ashes into beauty. This is a month where God is turning things around. Some say turn around. This is a month where God is turning things around and He's purifying those undrinkable waters, the things that died are bitter that uh, are untouchable you don't even want to go near those things are going to be healed someone say amen someone say I receive my healing someone say I receive my supernatural miracle God is releasing healing in this month healing in bodies and finances healing in minds many people have said they've been going through so much mental warfare Emotional warfare. God is releasing healing to you in the name of Jesus. Even as Moses threw the wood into the water and they were healed. Some say, Amen. <clears throat> Some say, I receive my miracle. So, the month of ER, in this month as well, there's also one more significant thing. That happened. Oh my God, it's so good. There's something called the Pesach shunning. Someone say Pesach shunning. Okay. Pesach shunning. This is known as the second Passover. Pesach, of course, means Passover. And shunning means second. God is so good that one month after the original Passover, He opens up an opportune time. For people who missed celebrating the Lord. Those people who missed the first Passover. God gives them a second opportunity. Some might say second chances. Who here knows that God is a God of second chances? That's what Pesach Shani is. He says if you missed the partaking of the land. And if you missed the, uh, the parting of the Red Sea. And if you missed the plundering of your enemies then I'm going to give you a second chance to partake of the Lamb of God. Come on, somebody. So, Pesach shunning, which means the second Passover. The second Passover takes place in the month of ER. <laughs> so, in this month of May, get ready for second chances. Get ready for a second wind. Get ready for more opportunities. You thought you missed it. You thought you missed out. You thought people were trying to close the doors on you. <coughs> people were trying to slam things in your face. But God is opening up a door of second chances. He's opening up a grace window of second opportunities of Pesach shunning. So to I receive my second chances. Who here knows that God is a God of second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. He's the God of a million chances. You felt like you missed out. But God is saying, I'm going to give you another chance. So to amen. So expect grace. God's releasing grace to you. God's releasing miracle graces to you. I declare this month of May. There's going to be redemption for you. Not only healing, but redemption. Not only wholeness, but restoration. 
May, this month, is going to be a month where you're going to know that God is not only your healer, <laughs> but God is the one who gives you second chances. They said no, but God said yes. They said no, but God said yes. If you believe it, say amen. And of course, even as I started off, right now, this is the counting of the Omer. Someone say counting of the Omer. Jesus. Isn't God so good? Shoot. This is a counting of the Omer. Where God is counting the days. He's counting the weeks. For a new Pentecost glory to come. It's counting of the Omer until they arrive to Mount Sinai. Someone say Sinai. Of course, Sinai is a very important uh, place in the Bible because that's where Moses experienced the glory of the Lord. Come on. He experienced the glory of God on top of Mount Sinai. And not only that, but as his face was shining with the glory of God in Pentecost, Shavuot, as his face was shining with the glory of God, radiant illumination. As his face was shining, Jesus help me. He received the Torah, the Word of God. He received the Torah, the Ten Commandments, the Word of God. Now let me tell you why this is so important. Because without the Word of God, there would be no people. Without the word of God, there would be no kingdom. Without the law, without the word, there is no nation of Israel. There is no nation of God. So, the month of May has E-R, E-R, and also has Sivan, which is Shavuot. Pentecost, upper room power. Mount Sinai, Torah, word of God, power. So to amen, my gosh. That's why you're going through shifts. You're going through an accounting or accountability. God is searching. God is examining. God is looking in. God is testing. Are you going to grumble? Or are you going to give thanks? Jesus. God brought the Israelites to... The foot of Mount Sinai. Hear me now. But only Moses was able to go up to Mount to the top. And when he went to the top, his face shone with the glory of God. His face shone with the glory of God. <clears throat> and he received the Ten Commandments, the Torah of God. Are you ready to receive? Are you ready to receive your harvest? And remember, I've taught you many times before, every Jewish feast, every Jewish holiday, circles around harvest. Wheat harvest, barley harvest, different types of harvest. So it's a month of harvest. It's a month of healing. It's a month where God is promoting you. And the glory of the Lord will shine out of your face. So to amen. The month of May. It's a month of Pentecost power. It's a month of second chances. It is a month where your bitter is turning into sweet. Some say hallelujah. What a rich word today. So I want to declare over you. May is a month of second graces, second chances. Some say grace. It's a month of second chances. May is also a month of glory. So it was a glory where you're going to experience the bitter turn to sweet. You're going to experience healing. And you're going to experience the glory of God shining out of you like never before. And also it's a month of government. So it's a government where God is giving you new authority, new power, new word, new legislation. God is anointing you with the Torah and the Ten Commandments. Grace, glory, government. Shatara broskarabala.
Shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. I am the God that healed thee. I am the Lord your healer. Jesus. Shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. Shut up. I am the God <clears throat> that will make a distinction over you. A distinction over you. The diseases, the world, what the world's going through will not come over you. You'll be different. Hallelujah. So I want to declare this over you as we're ending this broadcast today. May is a month of double honor. So it's a double honor. May is a month of double honor. Okay. Three things. I already said grace, glory, government. Right. It's also a time where you're going to go through healing, you're going to go through harvest, and you're going to gain honor. Healing, harvest, and honor. I want to pray for you today. I feel the grace of God. Do pray with me. Pray for me. <clears throat> I know uh, the Lord is healing me right now. The Lord is healing me. The Lord is blessing me. He's keeping me. But I want to pray. That even as we are in the counting of the Omer, the counting of days and weeks, that you will be counted worthy. And you will be accounted as one of his righteous ones. I thank you for the month of May. I am the God that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. You took my sins and you healed my disease. I am the Lord, your healer. He is the Lord our God, our healer. God is healing your mind, He's healing your heart, your body, your finances, your hope. Woo! Bless me, your name, Jesus. Bless me. Healing, harvest, and honor. Are you ready for double honor? Are you ready for second chances? Are you ready for the glory of the Lord to shine out of your face like never before? Hallelujah. People of God, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on. I'm so glad you came today. It's good to be with you again. Let me know what spoke to you the most. I want you to comment below. What spoke to you the most? What encouraged you? What enlightened you? Are you excited for this month? It's going to be such a great month. I'm excited for the month of May. And remember, do subscribe to my public page. I'm, I'm supposed to do this live from the public page, but we're having... These technical demons, te technological warfare. But uh, subscribe to my public page and subscribe to my YouTube. And uh, listen, remember, we are being, we're going to be in Hawaii in one week. Okay, Next week, I'm going to be in Florida. And then after that, I'm going to be in Hawaii. So uh, come and see me, come and see us, Florida and Hawaii. Amen. Well, I love you guys. Bless you. Thanks for logging on. What a powerful word. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, my public page, and I'll see you soon. Amen. Happy May. 
Happy May of Double Honor. Bless